Casein channel blockers are some of the most important antihypertensive drugs in the market. Why are they important and how do they work? This is what we're going to discuss in this episode of Billboard. Calcium channel blockers are the first line antihypertensive drugs. Their onset of action is quick due to the rapid oral absorption. Monotherapy with calcium channel blockers is effective in 50% of hypertensive patients. The uses of these drugs are numerous. Some of them are Decreasing blood pressure through vasodilation Angina pectoris due to a decrease in myocardial oxygen consumption Supraventricular arrhythmia because of its depressant action on SA and AV nodes As well as migraine So how does it work? After entering the bloodstream, calcium channel blockers block the voltage-sensitive L-type calcium channels by binding to specific sites on the A1 subunit of these channels, which are embedded on the smooth muscle cells of the blood vessels, cardiac myocytes, and cardiac nodal tissues. This blockage in terms will lead to prevention of calcium entering these cells resulting in no excitation coupling reaction in the heart and vascular smooth muscles. The pharmacological results of that mechanism are relaxation of arterial smooth muscles, significant reduction in the afterload on the heart, coronary vasodilation. Examples of calcium channel blockers include amlodipine, verapamil, nifedipine, and deltiazine. A trick to memorize these medications is to remember the phrase a very nice drug. No drug is perfect, and that includes calcium channel blockers. The common side effects are postural hypotension, palpitation, reflex tachycardia, edema, and dizziness. The most important counterindications of calcium channel blockers are heart failure, bradycardia, arterioventicular block. Calcium channel blockers are usually well absorbed through the GIT, which means that they go through first pass metabolism. However, once entered the bloodstream, calcium channel blockers are highly bound to plasma protein. After doing their action, calcium channel blockers are then metabolized by the liver and excreted renally. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe and for any questions or suggestions for future topics, feel free to mention it in the comment section below.